Could your ego be restricting you from landing your perfect job? In today's video, I'm going to talk about certain things you may be doing without realizing that it can prohibit you from landing your dream job. In many of my videos, I talk about having confidence during the job search, but there's a fine line between someone who's confident and someone who's arrogant. Here are some signs that you want to be aware of. Number one, you refuse to ask for help or feedback on your resume and job search. Having a mentor during a job search is one of the most important things you could do for yourself. Some people may feel that they have too much pride to ask for help or accept mentorship, but that is one of the biggest mistakes you could make. Seeking advice from a career coach can set you up for success as it will help you better align your skills and experience with the job that you're searching for. Second, you are depending on your experience only. So although experience is a great thing to have when applying for jobs, hiring managers don't solely depend on that when looking for a candidate to fill a position. They want to make sure that an individual has a good attitude, pleasant personality, and will fit with their work culture. So just because you might have great experience doesn't mean you're entitled to that job. Third, your overconfidence attitude is setting you up for failure. During the interview process, you may feel that you don't need to explain everything since it's on your resume or your education experience speak for itself. Maybe some of the questions they're asking you are obvious, which causes you to get irritated since the answer is clearly in front of them. So these are all red flags to be aware of because a hiring manager does not want to bring someone on their team with this kind of attitude. It may come across like you're dismissing them and therefore you will unlikely get contacted for a second interview. Do these sound like things you may have done in the past or are currently doing during your job search or interviews? I've got you covered. So it's time to reflect and check in with yourself. Take a step back to really reflect on your job search. Are you getting interviews but not making it to round two or three? Have you stopped and asked for help from a career coach or a mentor? Does the job search make you feel frustrated or insecure? If you're feeling any of these things, it's really time to step back, humble yourself and ask for support. The most successful people out there have a team of people behind them supporting and guiding them along the way. So if you are looking for support from a career coach, I'd love to chat on ways to support you during your job search and help you land those second and third interviews. Check out my programs that I offer on the website link below and let's get you hired.